Okay, folks, today was meant to be me going to work, but I woke up too late. For some reason, I missed my wake-up alarm in the morning. So, yeah, I just figured I'd fill it in with some demos, as usual. Use, use this downtime productively, folks. I don't enjoy working anyway, folks. Uh, I don't, folks. I don't enjoy being defined by my disability. I really wish I could be well known as an artist, as a photocopier artist. Trying to get on the six o'clock news on Channel 9. This work that I do in the in the um, disability, uh, what do they call it? Australian Disability Enterprise, ADE. It's just purely to make enough money to get me by on top of my Centrelink. And it's really no fun. <laughs> I don't enjoy having to kowtow to my disability, but I have to because what can I do? I'm limited. Enough of that. Let's see what we have here. We have here, I found this in a uh, wheelie bin, in a um, recycle bin. And we're going to utilise this. I've looked at these on shelves before and thought what nice graphics these are that I'd like to use in these demos of mine. So I'm going to just make an interesting work out of it. Oh, actually, I've got to enlarge it first, um, I do think. So I'm just going to put it roughly within the A6 area and enlarge it 200%. I'm not going to get too fussy with it. Hopefully it won't be too far off. It's not sitting flat, unfortunately. I'm going to hold on, push it down. I'm going to hold it with my hand and hold it down and I'm going to just use the camera hand to press the button so hopefully that'll work yeah they, I think they said it was going to get to 29 degrees the sun's cracking through like as usual as I normally would greet it the sun's cracking through it's going to be it was hot this morning I went out and bought some paper and some uh, DVD covers well, they're actually CD covers, which I'm using as DVD covers. And that's come up looking really quite nice. But yeah, I really miss my partner Luigi. And I'm trying to get in touch with him through the 6 o'clock news on Channel 9. I really need to get, get to find where he is. I really miss him. And I'm dying to see him again. It's really difficult trying to get my work recognised. But I'm not going to give up, folks. I'm not going to give up. I do wonder which version's better. This is the second version. And this is the uh, first. The first looks more colourful, of course, because I've lightened it here. So I'm going to utilise that one as our master copy. But basically, I'm getting really lonely without Luigi. And it really kills me that I'm not able to get in touch with him. So, but I'm not going to stop making my videos because I've come this far. I've worked on this campaign throughout the years, trying hard to get it out there. And on this, on the, I, I do lots of social media. Uh, sometimes I hit the social media so hard that it causes, it triggers alerts, like when you're using uh, Facebook, not. But yeah, Facebook and especially Instagram and also Threads. Um, it, sometimes I upload so many videos in quick succession, succession that it triggers an, an alert that says some some uh, ir, some uh, bot activity. You know, robot automated activity was detected on your on your page, and they say yeah, that sort of shit. So you know, it's really quite. I don't do this shit at, in a domestic duty way. I do it very industrially. I don't like just... It's, I need to get out there. I need to get my life into gear. I need to get recognised as an artist. And I just haven't... I just can't be concerned that my... that my use of social media is, is deemed wrong because they have really strict rules. It's like they don't want you to be famous. It's like they don't want you to fucking get ahead. And this photocopy is getting old too. You just heard that noise, that horrible gr rattling noise. So this photocopy is getting old and I really need to get my stuff 
to go to air on the news. This was the first one, and this is the one I just came out. And this looks even better. I do like the look of that overall. Maybe I could take a section out of that and enlarge it on the vertical. But basically, I really get sick of this rules that they have on social media that you can't use it like that. They, they see it as abuse. You know that you're making it no fun for everyone else, but fuck, you know, what's the point? You know, social, that's why you can't rely on social media alone. Well, one of the reasons why you can't rely on social media alone to get the word out, to get recognised, to become, you know, quote unquote famous. You know, fame is is not all bad. I've often I often do get annoyed at celebrities and their bullshit. But basically, but basically, there is a place for fame and fortune and celebrity. But it has to be main has to be managed properly. It has to be treated with respect. You got to treat it like your it's privilege. It's not just something you get. You have awarded you on a silver platter. You got to fucking, you got to sort of almost like earn it. You know, you got to fucking make it useful. You know, make it to help other people, to help the planet, to make something of of it. Not just there as somewhere something as a wank, or to make a lot of money and doing next to nothing. You know, like there's a big responsibility with celebrity and fortune. A big responsibility, and most people in in this famous, in the celebrity sphere, don't seem to have much responsibility. And, and this looks shit ass. Looks a bit too tall. Don't know why it has to look like that. Well, it's too. T- I made it really like that's the vertical, um, making it really large. Uh, but basically, I just really. I just don't understand why celebrities are so are often so self selfish and self centered, and they don't care about others. And they just like yeah, like the Kardashians. I forget, I've almost forgotten what the Kardashians are known for. I don't follow them, folks. I don't follow, but I know that they're popular, and their 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 popularity is so strong that even an an ignorant person of celebrity. Um, I don't follow them and I don't have the ability to remember names and faces and all that sort of shit like a lot of people who love celebrities do and basically yeah um, how should I do this so yeah I just don't follow celebrities as a general rule or not not at least the ones in the movies or or glitz and glamour Hollywood and that's what they like on the six o'clock news. If they're not, if they're not showing negative stuff, they're showing fucking money fuckers and celebrities and movers and shakers, people who've already made it there in the war in, in, with success. People who are already uh, successful who don't need to be promoted, and yet people like myself get treated like we're just shit. Because hey, I'm 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 a I'm a Centrelink recipient. I'm on the taxpayer's purse. You know, I'm on the taxpayer's purse. I, I cost money to society. I'm not making money. I'm not entertaining. I'm just fucking leeching, and it feels like leeching, even though I'm not, because I am disabled and I'm perfectly well, near, you know, perfect as in turn of phrase. I don't believe in perfection in this world, but. If we use it as a turn of phrase, I'm perfectly eligible for Centrelink because I'm disabled and I can't earn myself a living. I can't earn myself a decent living being disabled, so I have to fucking rely on the government purse. And I know, I I appreciate them. I really appreciate what they've done for me throughout the years, that they've helped support me and keep, keep me going. Otherwise, if it wasn't for Centrelink, I'd be on the street. If it wasn't for social housing, I'd be on the street. If, you know, if it wasn't for those supports, I'd be on the street. And I wouldn't survive, and there's no way I'd get any kind of recognition as an artist. I'd be dead. So, you know, this is just survival, folks. I don't enjoy it, folks. I don't enjoy being on the taxpayer's purse. I really don't. 
I really fucking hate it, but, you know, I have to do it. You know? And I don't enjoy sharing a laundry with a washing machine with three other people and a dryer with seven other people, so I have to go to the laundromat. But I don't enjoy that, but I, I'm glad that I've got a place to live, however rough it is. Um, I still wish I could, again, like Centrelink, I wish I didn't have to rely on social housing. I wish I could be make enough money to live in a place where I can have my own laundry to myself and I don't need a laundromat because I don't feel safe using this laundry in this place. There's some really crazy people, if you must use a colloquial term, and I <laughs> have to share laundry with them and it's really scary. So I, I, I scratch together enough money just to get get me to drop it off at the laundromat because I'm so scared and I want to get out of this place. I want to be with Luigi, but it's better than being on the street. Just quietly, folks. So this photocopy is getting old and I've nearly finished paying off the loan on it, but I've had a lot of trouble paying it off being a low wage as you know and trying to promote myself as an artist uh, but basically yeah I really need to get in touch with my partner Luigi and I want to get off Centrelink, I want to leave social housing and just put the past behind me, I want to fucking have my life as someone to be recognised as an artist and not a fucking person with disability so I think we can now call it quits. Or maybe we'll do a switcheroo. But basically, I don't enjoy my job either. But again, I'm grateful I've got this job in an Australian disability enterprise because it gives me enough money to help me just enough, just get by, scratch my ass, go go decline at the terminal, pause terminal every now and then. But I still manage to get just scratch my ass to get by. Um, I don't know if this is going to look any good. And yeah, that's come up looking really quite interesting. I think we can now call this demo quits.